Hey guys, it's Melanie and my trusty assistant Alf who just is making himself comfortable in my lap as um, I get ready to share the weekly home fragrance roundup. So I hope you guys had a fantastic week. Happy weekend. Um, full disclosure, today's actually Friday. I filmed this video on Fridays so uh, that way it's just ready to go for Saturday morning. Um, but yeah, happy weekend. <laughs> it is an, yet another uh, cold, wet, rainy weekend here in Oregon. We are currently getting pummeled by um, a super wet spring situation <laughs> that really has like no end in sight. Um, I love listening to the meteorologists that are on our news stations here because they're just like we're really sorry but it's like another solid week of rain um I, th I think most Oregonians actually at this point are like super over it and as much as I love the rain I have to admit that at this point it would be nice to have just a few not warm days I'm not looking for I'm not looking for the heat but some sun just to be able to dry out the ground. Um, tomorrow morning, Stella has a soccer game. She doesn't play on turf, she, she plays on like a grass field. And she comes home soaking wet and covered in mud from head to toe. And you guys, my kid is over it. She's over it. So anyway, I hope that you are experiencing some sun and uh, hopefully a relaxing weekend where you are at. Um, let me know what your plans are. For us, it is, uh, it's the soccer and then it is planting things in the yard. We keep waiting for a sunny day to do this, but we're, it's just not coming and it's almost May and the stuff has to get into the ground. So <laughs> I'm gonna be out there digging in the mud. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing, but it's good. It's, it's fresh air, it's being in nature. This guy loves to dig a nice hole, so he is very excited about digging holes this weekend. I have a feeling that he is gonna have to go and get a bath <laughs> after we're done. But yeah, anyway, um, let's get into the weekly home fragrance roundup. So this is a video that I like to do every Saturday where I just grab everything that I have been burning and melting this past week and I just share some thoughts with you guys, give you some initial reviews, let you know kind of what reviews are coming up next based on how far I am into burning new things that I need to review, um, which is honestly currently a struggle right now because <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that I have purchased in the last several months for the spring and um, yeah, it's as much as I burn throughout the day, it's still not going fast enough to where I'm getting to the halfway point on these candles to finally be able to share some thoughts with you, but I'm working on it. Um, so anyway, check out the description box down below. There's going to be a plethora of information down there, including Candle Crock 101, Candle Lamp 101, um, tips and tricks for problem candles, what sales are happening um, this weekend with the companies that I tend to frequent the most. Um, yeah, it's just there's quite a bit of information down there. There are discount codes So if you want to save a little bit more money on your purchase um, Yeah, like I said plethora of information But if you ever have a question just leave it down below in the comments and usually every day I try to sit down for at least a few minutes to like try to answer questions and Respond to comments. Um, I'm trying to really put a time limit on myself for how long I spend doing that because I do have like so many videos up on my channel. It is like so many comments coming in every single day. Um, so it can be, it can be kind of difficult to keep up. And like, I just, I don't want to always put that kind of pressure on myself because this, this is fun for me. I, I do this for fun. I don't do this for a living. I do it for fun. So, um, you know, I kind of, I have to find that balance, but I feel like the older I get, the better I am about balance. But anyway, let's get into it, you guys. So let us start with what I am currently crocking. So if you don't know what a crock is, that description box is gonna be super helpful because there's like a whole video that tells you all about it. Um, I will also put a link to a candle crock that is neutral. I'm not sure if the one from Boss Cobbs is back in stock. I will double check. Um, if it's not, then I have a very neutral recommendation from Amazon that I typically put down there, so yeah. 
Um, but all of my Crocs have been busy this week. I have been the crocking princess. Um, in my laundry room, currently I have Sugared Diamonds, which is a dupe f from Kringle. It's from Kringle. Um, I burned it to, I probably only have about this much wax left in it, but um, I was wanting to put something in a croc and that one was kind of running low, so I was like, you're it, get in. Um, so that is a dupe for the Fruit and Flakes. It's not a dupe, it's the three wick version of Fruit and Flakes that was released last spring from Kringle. Now, I think there's a little bit of a difference between the two fragrances. I feel like the Sugar Diamonds is just a lot more prominent on the banana note. Um, and the three wick format is also significantly stronger than the two wick format was. But if you liked the original Fruit and Flakes, I think you're definitely gonna like the Sugar Diamonds. I got a pretty good darn performance out of it, so um, I didn't have to put it in the crock, but I'm wanting to get back into using my crocs on a more regular basis. There's times where I use them like very regularly, and there's times where I just maybe have one going, and the other two don't see any candles for like several weeks. But um, yeah, I, I love having that as a fragrance option. I leave my Crocs on 24 seven. You don't have to do that, but it's just what I've always done and I've never had any problems with them. I don't wanna advocate that you do the same. Use your own discretion, um, you know, and do what you want. But for me, I just leave them on 24 seven. So, and that Sugar Diamonds is a freaking powerhouse in the Croc. If you are looking to, I mean, I'm talking like nine out of 10 in terms of strength and throw. Like it is in the back laundry room and I can smell it like out here in the entryway. Like it, and that is quite a feat to get out of there. There's also not very good airflow in the laundry room. So it is like the fact that it makes its way out of there at all is, that's a strong candle. So if you do not like burning candles, put that one in a crock and you are gonna get a powerhouse experience. I would say almost to the point where some people m might think it's too much. In fact, when Craig walked in, he was gone for, he was away on a little trip. When he came back, he was like, what is that? <laughs> it's so strong. So um, yeah, it's, it's pretty powerful. Anyway loving that uh i love it Craig does not <laughs> in our master bedroom so i had an indigo paradise going in here and i showed this over on my instagram um the wick clips detached and floated to the sides of the candle and luckily because i i am trying to be a lot more mindful about watching my candles um I decided to walk over it just to take a peek and I was like, Wah! like I immediately extinguished the candle. You, If your wick clips start like floating to the side of the glass, this is why you never relight a candle that you put into the candle crock because the glue um, gets loosened from the wick clips and it, it's a fire hazard. It is dangerous to do that. While the glass can withstand quite a bit of heat, if you have a flame right next to the to that glass for like you know one two hours or even longer it is going to heat that glass up to the point where it can crack break then you have not only a wax mess on your hands but you also have a fire hazard because there's still probably a flame going in there so please be very mindful of that watch your candles as soon as i saw that there was still about this much wax left in the bottom so i thought okay so obviously i can't finish burning this it was burning great. Like it was the slowest burning candle that I think I've had from Bath and Body Works in the longest time. But I decided to put it in my master bedroom. That one is a very similar fragrance to Capri Blue Volcano. So um, if you're looking for a dupe for that, if you can still find some Indigo Paradise in your local Bath and Body Works. Sunwash Citrus is also very similar. Um, you can, you know, pick those up and it's gonna give you a better burn than Capri Blue Volcano, but anyway, so that's what's in my master bedroom, and it, it's quite strong. I mean, I walk into that room, and it's just like smell right in the face. Um, then in the back bedroom, I put the last little bit. I think there was maybe about this much wax left. I was definitely past the halfway point because I reviewed it this week, and I was at the halfway point there. 
the last bit of my Bath and Body Works Cocoa Paradise. Let me tell you the story about how in love I am with this scent. This is going to be the summer of coconut for me. I've always loved coconut as like a fragrance note. Um, also in perfume. I love coconut in perfume. If you, uh, P.S. If you are a fragrance fan, uh, head to Sephora and pick up the Seven Virtues Coconut Sun. Good. It's so good. I just have the travel size, but I will absolutely be purchasing the full size. It is absolutely beautiful. Lovely. It's like a coconut. I think there's frangipani in there. It's like a solar coconut. It's so beautiful. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, Coco Paradise. Um, yeah, that's it's like a powerhouse. So I have that in my like back bedroom. It's my little girl cave where I, you know, typically film most of my videos. And it's so good, you guys. Um, even though I put it in the crock, um, it, it did get puny wicks after I reviewed it. I will say that. Um, I was ex kind of expecting that, though, because it does have those tree stump wicks, which just always tend to dud out on me after, usually after the halfway point. But I'm still, if there is a sale this weekend, I am one, I have not even checked what the sales are this weekend, except for Kringle. I did take a look at Kringle, but... Um, I think there's supposed to be a good candle sale this weekend. Um, I'm going to pick up more. I love Coco Paradise. And if you love a coconut, like, sandalwood, like, deep concoction, like, th that's it. That's just it for me. I love it. I'm, like I said, this is the year of the coconut for me. I, I actually have some coconut candles going behind me here. So we'll discuss those in a minute. But... Yeah, so good. Highly, highly recommend checking out Coco Paradise. And I am going to pick up the body spray. And someone said there's also a perfume. I think I might have to get the perfume too. <laughs> so I don't need another perfume. I just bought perfume. I just bought a bunch of perfume. I don't need any more. But man, if I love it in home fragrance, I'm probably going to love it on me too. So super excited to like get my hands on that. I do have a 20% off coupon, so I'm excited. Um, okay, so that is what is currently in the crock situation. I am not using my lamp, but I ha you should watch next week. I have a new lamp that uh, I'm going to introduce you guys to, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm not using the one that's currently in my office right now. I am going to start lamping a lot more again, especially as we go into summer. Um, so there's that. Let's talk about what I'm currently burning. First of all, in the kitchen, I have Homeworks. Is it, I think it's l blueberry lavender cupcake or lavender blueberry cupcake. It's in the hobnail. And full disclosure, that one in the kitchen is a PR item. And oh man, I actually really like it. And I do not like lavender. Uh, I have, I think I'm actually going to finish it either today or tomorrow morning. So I'm almost done with it. I have done an in-depth review of it. And I think that's going to go up tomorrow. So stay tuned. It's so good, you guys. And that is coming from someone who does not like lavender. I don't like lavender in personal fragrance, and I don't really like it in home fragrance because it comes across as very astringent to my nose. It's not in that particular scent. I would have never bought that candle. I would have absolutely taken a pass on it every time. And I think it's actually on sale right now. Um, you can combine my discount code with the sale, and that's, that's a pretty good price for a hobnail so I'll put my homeworks discount code in the description box down below and that's over at homeworks.shop but that's fabulous you guys it is so good and it's a great performer like the strength and throw of it is actually quite impressive especially based on the strength and throw issues that most of us in fact I think all of us have probably been experiencing with homeworks for the last year or so so like I said I keep seeing improvements from homeworks now, not every candle is an improvement. Some of them are still performing the way they did last year, but I am seeing, I'm seeing some promising things and I just continue to hope that they're gonna continue to, um, you know, improve whatever the issue is, whatever's going on, and they're gonna give us what we really are used to from Homeworks and quite frankly, what we want from Homeworks. So anyway, that's going in there. And in this room here, let's talk about the coconuts. Waikiki Coconut Beach, Beach Coconut. Hmm. Yeah, it's back there, but uh, I'm extremely nearsighted, so I can't read that label. <laughs> 
you know what I'm talking about. It's the Waikiki Coconut Beach, Beach Coconut, that one, and then Sea Breeze. I have talked about this combo, I believe, before in my weekly home fragrance roundup. I'm telling you right now, if you love the summer vibe, Sea Breeze from Kringle and this Waikiki Beach Coconut, Coconut Beach, pair them together. You will be in tropical heaven. There's some floral notes floating around. There's that beachy, salty ocean air floating around. There's the beautiful coconut, little bit of musk in there. Just, it is the epitome of summer. And this is coming from the girl who hates the summer. I am a vampire <laughs> when it comes to the weather. Really, I'm not excited about summer, but I am trying to embrace it because this is kind of my thing. This, this was one of my New Year's resolutions. Enjoy the seasons. They All the seasons are wonderful for, for their own unique reason. So anyway, here I am embracing summer smells a little early, <laughs> especially on a very cloudy, rainy day. Like, it might look like it's sunny because it's so bright right now, but that's just because it's just gray. And gray reflects light, so it's very bright in here right now. Anyway, um, anything else that I'm currently burning? No. Nope. So let's get into what else I was burning this week. Um, I bought a backup of this because I love it so much. This is the Country Candle Coconut and Blueberry Tart. I also have wax melts in this scent because it's so good. I love this one, you guys. Um, it's delicious. And again, it has that coconut, which... Give me anything coconut this year. Like I, mm, when we were in Hawaii, my only goal was to like stop at one of those like roadside stands and to like get a fresh coconut and like with a straw and drink it. I, I made Craig do that like two times when we were going up to the Turtle Bay Resort to like look around for the day. Um, and he was like, to, can you really like consume any more coconut juice? And I'm like, I could drink this all day long. It's so good. Lots of electrolytes, fabulous. If you are dehydrated, that's a great route. But anyway, um, I love coconut anything is the moral of the story. If you haven't like figured that out by now, that's that's my thing, it's coconuts. Um, I will say I'm a teensy tiny bit disappointed in the performance of this one because my first one was quite strong. This one's a little lighter. So that being said, these country candles in the soy formulation are new. Like this is like the first season where they made the switch to this. So I do still think there probably are some things to iron out, maybe some potential like batch inconsistencies or something. But I can still smell it. It's just not quite as strong as my first one. So I do have it in a hurricane and that helps. But the first one, I didn't feel like I had to put in a hurricane. This one, I feel like I do. So just a heads up. I want to mention the variation because if it's there, it's there. Like, I'm not going to deny it. Um, that being said, am I still going to buy more of this this summer? Yeah, absolutely. I love this. And I'll also get more wax melts. It's really good in the wax melts. And I have a story about wax melts. I feel I've already told this story about the wax melts, but I'm just going to say it again because I just discovered the most fabulous thing ever. We'll get to that at the end, though. All right. The rest of these are all Kringles that I have been burning all this week so that hopefully next week I can get these reviews out to you guys. All right. So these were the candles that I purchased from the latest three wick designer collection drop. And these are limited edition. I think what's limited edition about these is more so the artwork than the fragrances themselves. So I don't think these scents are necessarily going to go away. I think the artwork will probably switch out from jar to jar. These are like painted. Aren't they beautiful? I do love this whole like checkered vibe that they're going with for a lot of these anyway i have actually had some of these before when they were available in the country candle line such as the blueberry lemonade i believe blueberry did blueberry lemonade come out last year or the year before i'm not the best with dates you guys yeah my brain cells they try real hard some days but i i don't like remember everything i there's too much stuff. Sorry, I have a kid and like 
the amount of information that she like spews at me like that takes up the bulk of my brain space right <laughs> I have to get this child to adulthood and, you know, try to make her a healthy functioning person. So I, I put most of my energy towards that. But this blueberry lemonade is delicious. Who this one's good, you guys. So this is farm stand blueberry, raspberry, lemon, um, apple, lime zest, wild verbena, ginger zest, uh, vanilla sugar, and musk. A very tart blueberry lemonade. I'm excited to review this one for you guys. This one's doing pretty good. There's also a little bit of variation in these in terms of strength and throw. So I'm finding that kind of interesting because for me, like I just expect all of them to be exactly the same, but I am noticing some variation. So um, that being said, nothing is unscented. I, I've not received an unscented thing from Kringle. I mean, there's a few that are definitely a lot lighter, but I've never received anything that's entirely unscented. This is not unscented, but there is some variation in terms of strength and throw. Um, this one here, she's doing pretty good. Um, quite potent, delicious. If you like a good blueberry lemonade, check this one out. And like I said, the reviews are coming next week. By the way, the new candles are finally on sale and I believe they're $5 off. And then you can find the ambassador discount code that gives you an additional 15% off. I will put mine in the description box. Um, yeah, so if you wanna save an extra 15%, you can enter that at checkout and that'll knock some more money off of the candles as well. Um, this is strawberry lemonade. This one I actually do not like as much as I thought I would. I thought honestly this one would be my favorite. But it's, it's a little bit more tart and lemony than I would prefer. I was hoping for some more strawberry in here, but it's, it's quite, it's just, I feel like this is like strawberry with just like a dash of like, sorry, this is lemonade with a dash of strawberry. There we go. So strawberry leaf, orange fizz. That orange fizz is quite strong as well. Mimosa, lemon, and oak wood. I, there's nothing woody about this. Like don't, if you see that oak wood and you're like, hmm, um, I don't smell that. Like, I, I'm not picking that up, but obviously check with other people as well. Everybody's nose is different, you guys. The notes that I pick up may not necessarily be the notes that your nose picks up. This is what makes fragrance such an interesting and frustrating thing because I can tell you all day long what I smell, um, and you might get it and then be like, yeah, no, this has a lot of strawberry. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, so yeah. And it might be that this is actually strawberry leaf. Like it doesn't say outright strawberry. But that orange, I, it's more of like an orange fizz lemonade. That's pretty aptly, that would be more aptly named, I feel like. But it's nice. It is nice. It's not that I don't enjoy it. I just... I thought it was gonna be like a true strawberry lemonade and it's not really what I'm getting from this one. So if you have it, let me know. Okay, this one is, this one's a little different. I love this scent, but this is, it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter in terms of strength of throw. Berry clouds, juicy berries, tangy grapefruit, orange and lemon zest. This is delicious. Um, I want more of this, even though it is slightly lighter. When I put this in like a smaller area or when I put when I put it in a hurricane, I get much better performance out of it. But I know a lot of you don't want to have to use candles in a hurricane. So um, if you're looking for a lot of oomph, this one for me isn't doing quite as well as I would like. But I bet if I put this in a candle crock, it would probably be like kapow in your face. Because crocks for whatever reason, they, j they will take a candle that does not behave and force it to behave. I love it. Um, dragon fruit lemonade. So this for, for sure I know was in the country candle line, I'm pretty sure last spring. Correct me if I'm wrong. Dragon fruit, orange, pineapple, coconut, hibiscus, jasmine, musk, lemonade, and tonka. I love it. You know those dragon fruit uh, refreshers at Starbucks? I'm kind of obsessed with them. This kind of smells like that. <laughs> it smells so good, you guys. This is this is yummy. If you like dragon fruit, that like intense, sweet, very unique tropical fruity fr flavor. It's all it's like it's almost kind of hard to explain because I don't think that I've ever really tasted a fruit 
that is quite like dragon fruit. It's the same with, with lychee or lychee. Like I have a hard time explaining that because it's just this kind of like intense sweetness and it just smells like it comes from a place that's warm, you know, where there's like a ton of sun. I just love dragon fruit. This is delicious. I need more of this. I want that and some wax melts. That's what I want. Yeah, that might actually be in wax melts. If they're left over from last year, I might be able to get that. <laughs> and then mango lemonade. Mango. Okay, mango, yuzu, apricot, green leaves, gardenia, pineapple, coconut, milk, and vanilla musk. The gardenia in this one kind of threw me off. I'm happy to report I don't really get much gardenia out of here. And this one's also quite light. This isn't as sweet of a mango lemonade as I thought it would be. And I, I reviewed the original in the paraffin. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Um, but I like it. I like this. But again, this is another one that's a little bit lighter than I want it to be. So anyway, I, be, this some of these being lighter is a little bit of a eh to me. But also, there are people out there that do not want candles that are going to make them, like, you know, want to, like, air out their house. Like, there are people like that. And I realize most of the people that watch me prefer more of, like, the powerhouse style of candle. Um, so that's why I talk a lot about strength and throw, because I know it's important to so many of you. But there are a lot of people who have let me know, they're just like, yeah, when you say something is super powerful, I purposely avoid it because I don't want that. So yeah, for me, this is definitely a little bit lighter. So if that's what you're looking for, this one is, it's, it's a little bit lighter for me. All right, you guys, my, oh gosh, Alf. Whew, mama's foot is falling asleep. I sit cross-legged and, um, oh, sorry. Oh, I have upset you. I hate to upset you. <laughs> But my, oh God, it's so asleep. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Oh, this video is long. Hold on, we are go we're gonna do some editing. Uh, I just know the camera's gonna cut me off and I just really don't wanna deal with that. So hold on, please. And we're back, hello. Okay, look what I have, a bucket of wax melts because I also melt. Here we are, here we are, here we go. Ah, that's so good. Listen. Do you like the Chirosa 62 fragrance from Sol de Janeiro, otherwise known as the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream? And I know it says Bum Bum, but it is supposed to be pronounced Boom Boom. So don't come for me because I used to pronounce it Bum Bum. And then I was corrected by someone who speaks Portuguese who said it's actually supposed to be Boom Boom. So it is Boom Boom. <laughs> uh, if you love that, that body cream or body spray that you can buy at Sephora. Let me tell you what I have discovered. And this is thanks to Samantha. Samantha, you are my hero for pointing this out. This is sweet stuff from Kringle. Um, currently it's only available in the wax melts. And yes, I have already sent Mick a message. I try not to like do this too often because I feel like it's probably really overwhelming for the CEOs of these candle companies to get like a bunch of DMs from, you know, like random customers. But every once in a while, I'm like, yeah, it's it's worth harassing him about this. <laughs> it is worth harassing him about this. I was like, you cannot do away with this. I don't see any candles on the Kringle website. You better keep this scent. <laughs> I didn't threaten him, but if I have to, I will. <laughs> this is so good, you guys. Sweet stuff. The label, not at all reflective of what this is. Let me tell you what this is. Uh, go to Sephora. Ask them for the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream or Body Spray. Stick your nose in that and that's what this is. It is almost an exact dupe and I have it going all around the downstairs of the house. This does have coconut in it, so it goes really well with these two scents. It's not really going quite as well with like the lavender blueberry cupcake situation in the kitchen, but I don't care. Um, I will mix anything. Um, this is so delicious, you guys. I purchased 25 of these and there's still more on the website. Now, don't, don't buy them out because I will want more. And if there's not more, I'm gonna get real huffy, but I will allow you to purchase a few. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. I 
go go get it it is so good you guys i want everyone to experience this if you love that fragrance it's so delicious you guys it's got some floral notes it's got some gourmand notes there's a little bit of rose in here there's a little bit of coconut in here there's some musks there's kind of like a like a caramel pistachio vibe it's just really good i will rave about that until my dying day that is amazing and I, I just love the boom boom cream so anyway I finished yet another pink coconut from Scentsy also this week and let me just let me just say this about the these um before I get into the Scentsy I love Scentsy because I can get multiple days out of a couple of cubes typically with Kringle my experience is like it's a one and done type of thing this is one of the few Kringle fragrances that I can go at least two days before I feel I have to change it. Kringle to me, when it comes to their wax melts, are more of an experience like vendor wax for me, where, you know, it's one day of really good performance, but when I go to turn my warmers on the next day, this fragrance is mostly dead, and I feel like I have to switch it. This one, I do not feel like I have to do that. So, this is perfect. If I could get like three days, it would be absolutely heavenly, but I'm good with the two. Like I'm not complaining, but I did want to mention that I love pink coconut and this one, I get several days out of it. It is just so beautiful. You guys, it kind of gives me, this is like the more fruity version of the pink cotton fragrance, which I also love in the laundry care line. So good. By the way, I'm expecting my club order to come tomorrow. I'm excited getting some more mango shortbread. Uh, I started running low on that. Thankfully, I put it in my club. Look what I've been warming, a brick. <laughs> the Scentsy bricks are back, by the way. Um, this is pink apple and nectarine. You guys, this is yummy. This is really good. This would be a great transitional scent from summer into fall. This would be perfect transitional scent but I'm really, really liking it right now as well. So I cut these cubes in half, by the way, because they are obviously enormous. Here is a brick, Let me just close this again. And here is a regular bar. This is the size of my head. This is like half of my face. So big difference. Anyway, what is this? Strawberry lemon cake. Yes. Yeah. Strawberry lemon cake. Why am I having a brain? Fart? This is really good too, but this one's a little bit lighter. It's delicious and I really like it a lot, but it's a little bit lighter in it's like performance in terms of like it's projection out into the room, but that's okay because it is so delicious. I'm willing to put up with that. Sometimes I'm willing to put up with that. And sometimes I am not in this case, happy to deal hibiscus sorry, raspberry hibiscus tea. This was in my collab with Lisa um, that we did where we shared our top five Scentsy fragrances. If you missed that, that went up last Sunday. So I will link that down below. Um, so excited to go visit Lisa. You guys, I cannot wait until May. Anyway, um, raspberry hibiscus tea was in that video. I love this one for the spring. If you haven't tried it, she's good. Um, my beloved aloe water and cucumber. This was also in that video. Um, I love this one. It is fresh. It is renewing. It is zen. Um, it is normally not what I gravitate towards at all. Um, I love me some gourmands, obviously. But man, this is one of those scents from Scentsy where I'm like, yeah, I, I love this. And it's also a great powder room scent. If you need something for your bathroom that's super guest friendly, this one also, uh, this one always gets me lots of compliments. I adore it. And then there's this. This is Wildflower Cotton. Um, this kind of reminds me of the Sandalwood Tangerine, Tangerine Sandalwood. It's also available in the catalog. These have a similar vibe. This one is a little bit more feminine smelling than the Sandalwood Tangerine or Tangerine Sandalwood, but they're both quite perfumey and really pretty but does this scream like cotton to me no this screams like fancy lady perfume that's what this does i have this also in my upstairs filming room um 
and I, I had to turn it off because right now I'm really enjoying the Coco Paradise, but I really like this. Have you tried this? If you haven't, you should check it out. If you have a consultant, ask them if you can give it a, a snifferoo. I think you're probably really gonna like it, especially if you like that sandalwood tangerine or tangerine sandalwood. Um, it's currently in the catalog as well, so try that one too if you're looking for something more perfumey, um, maybe a little bit more masculine. Um, anyway, I, I'm going to cut myself off here. I hope you guys have a really great weekend. Stay tuned for the candle reviews tomorrow. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out the description box. I appreciate you being here. It means so much to me. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new, all that YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo!